Yep. Yeah, that all seems fine. Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And today, I got some chocolate milk. Hmm. That's good milk. Today, we're gonna be healing. We don't really heal that often, but um, it's quite fun. It's quite fun. DPSing is a little bit more fun, I'd say, but you know what? It's gotta get done sometimes. And today is one of those days? Question mark? Big, big question mark? I suddenly got moved to group 8. It's, I kind of figured I wouldn't stay on the rest of Shaman, but we'll see. We'll see what we have to play. For now, I'm just... Uh, there's a Discipline. There's one Enhancement. I'm not sure what Knuckle Punch is gonna do. Besides that, we don't really have any... Ah, he's Bis Resto as well. And I don't have a note. <laughs> Too many characters, man. I love playing as healer. Uh, it's, it's, it's okay. But we've been moved to group 8. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, you can, you can. So group 8 means um, that I'm in a replacement group. So we might not get to play Resto Shaman after all. I'm just gonna lower it a little bit. I don't know. No one will die today then? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, man. I used to be pretty good at Restoration Shaman, but uh, I haven't done it in a long time. Like when I did it every single week, you know, you start to get so good at it that you can start like heal sniping other healers. And you can really be like competitive as a healer, even though I don't think that's what's healing about. Healing is about keeping people alive and providing as much utility as possible. But um, yeah, it seems like... I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm not saved here. So let's play elemental on the dummy. Guys, I'll make an elemental guide impromptu right here, right now. Hey Camilla, what's up? And Sultan, hope you guys are both having just a wonderful day of course. And I hope you have a great day. Well, same to you Expo, hope you're having a wonderful day yourself. And uh, yeah, let's make a uh, chup chup, whatchamacallit, elemental guide. Alright, so you want to start off with using a flask. Preferably flask of the north because it really doesn't care. Your DPS isn't gonna get any better even if you use Flask of the Frostworm. It just kinda sucks in general. So don't waste money on it, that's my point. Now, you don't wanna actually need Hunter, Rogue, Retri. Uh oh. Resto Shami, maybe? <laughs> okay, hold on. They need Hunter, Rogue, or Red. Um, I can do all three. Name what you want. So before the boss fight, when you have not popped the flask, because that is actually a waste of money, you want to put down your totems, even Totem of Wrath. Totem of Wrath has a glyph attached to it, which gives you nice bonus spell power. On Lich King, you're gonna want to have to refresh that buff. What's free? No idea. Um, let me know what to log and I'll tell you. Like, I literally don't know what's free. I, my mind is just not good this week. So yeah, get your Totem of Wrath up, very important, and then immediately get rid of Totem of Wrath. Get yourself a Magma Totem. Hit it with a Flame Shock, which misses. <laughs> but Arby, you're not hit capped! No, I am, it's that 3% chance that you would get from, let's say, a Boomkins Fairy Fire or a Shadow Priest Misery Effect. Oh boy. And this is mostly it. Now, you'll be pressing some buttons. And when the buttons are pressed, you press them again. Like right there, missed another flame shock. That's absolutely beautiful. And people say, Abby, why don't you like Elemental Shaman? Well, <laughs> it doesn't like me. Elemental Shaman does not like me. Alright. Hunters on the horde side come rogue. Hold on, I'm just tracking here what we gotta play. Hey, what do you think is better on Red Pala? Dying Light or Hakumi? Dying Light. That's a spell power staff with, uh, I, th I think it's spirit on it. I guess I'll check that and be right back. Let's see if my Retri is unsaved. We might have to go for Retribution DPS today. That's fine. Um, as a DK Frost is worth using 0.6 offhand with more base damage than 0.6 with less base damage. Nope. Uh, the thing is... You want base damage because you hit with both of your weapons when you cast a spell. It's uh, the threat of the Sarian. 
I'll show you real quick. So we got the threat of the Serian talent, right? When dual wielding, there's a 100% chance to also deal spell damage when you cast a spell with your offhand weapon. So your frost strike, you want that to hit as hard as possible. Therefore, you want weapon damage, right? You want as much weapon damage as possible. Hi, Dad. Hey, son. What's up? I messed up the names. The Uluar one with attack power plus crit on proc. Now, I figured something was up there. I figured something was up. Um... Dying Light, Ulduar, AP Crit. You mean Blood of the Old Gods, maybe? Let's see if I'm saved, first of all. I was doing some uh, some inventory management. I'm not saved. Red here. There we go. Let's get money. Are you guys ready? Excited for money? Oof, 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 oof. What? What? There we go. Ah, oh, just the one primal too many. I'm gonna have to reorder this entire situation here. Oh boy. Alright, let's reorder this in terms of price. Get the Havoc Skull over there. I was messing around with that. I think that's the most expensive. Followed by that, followed by that, followed by this. So there we go, there's money. Alright, I'm gonna be Retri today. Let's go ahead and... Make our way over to uh, Satanology, get some consumables. Hey Shade, what's up? Hope you have an, a wonderful day. Have you tried to hit melee as elemental? Yes, I have. It's one of the important things. If you're on a fight as an elemental shaman and you can melee attack the boss, you absolutely should. Um, you might not get melee cast. You might not get melee hits off in between your casts, but you will get melee hits off when you're dropping your totem, when you're dropping your Flame shock. So, yeah. Definitely activate your melee attack. I was just fucking around. That's not actually a guide that I just did there. I just had time to waste and I figured, hey, let's sh let's shit talk elemental a bit. Where did you get that portal? It's from the trading card game. The only way to get it is by using coins. Ah. Gotta change the stream name again. Yup. I'll change the stream name in just a second here. Okay, we have enough potions. Uh, two flasks, please. And a stack of... Are we gonna flame cap? Fuck that. Two flasks, please. No, no, no. Three flasks, please. It's the sixth run. It might take longer than two hours. Let's put in 165 gold. Add in one pygmy oil, because he is our friend. That's it. All of that for three flasks? Yes. Streamer mat is hard. <laughs> it takes a long time. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Here, you can have a buff. Gift of the wild. I'm okay, how are you? Oh, I have felt better. The slow one in this case has less weapon damage than the fast one. Hmm. Well, then stick to weapon damage, like I said. Like, I I'm not sure, like... Not 100% sure what's going to be better for you. What you could do is just equip both of them, go to a dummy, and remove all of your gear, right? Remove all your gear so you don't have any procs interfering with your testing. Go to a dummy and hit an obliterate without any diseases up, just a standard obliterate. Just hit an obliterate, see how much damage that does, and then swap over to the other weapon, do one more obliterate, and see which one deals more damage. That would be the easiest way to test it. Like, that's how I would test it, because I'm not good at math, so I just go through the process of getting kicked in the face and getting back up. Let's go ahead and swap the stream title and whatnot. Retribution Paladin. I'm really sorry, but we gotta play Red Pala in Ice Crown Citadel 25 Heroic. And it is my main after all, so, you know. You know. Gotta play the main every now and then. Like seven people just left when I said that. Oh shit, is that Kimi Raikkonen? Who knows? Need one guy to swap to mage or warrior. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we're not playing red. <laughs> and red. Oh. Meh. Meh. 
Let's see here. Hey, man. Hope you enjoy a good time. Same to you, Andre. Hope you have a wonderful day, man. I'll test it. Thanks a lot. All right. Good luck, bro. Let me know how it turns out. Do you play on the Lord of One server? No. Nah, man. We got a lot of times one content incoming on uh, retail. <sighs> so much to do. And whoop the whoop. Get inside of here. That's a lot of horde. I wanted to see Resto. I also actually felt like playing Resto. I actually felt like playing Resto. Like, I don't feel like that often. Um, I really like DPSing over healing, generally. But I really did like... Uh, I, I was getting excited for the Resto. But hey, man. Not today. That's all we can say to the God of Death. This is one tanky boy. Just thanking them deathbound wards. How can I gear a nice crown? Hmm. You're gonna grind retail 24 hour stream maybe? I can't physically do a 24 hour stream. I'll die. <laughs> like I literally can't do it. Blame my shitty DNA for that. <laughs> what the fuck was that glitch? That wasn't a glitch, that was an exploit. <laughs> Don't tell Warmane, apparently it's bannable. Although if I get banned for that, I'm gonna just stop playing Warmane. That's fucking retarded if I get banned for that. And I do not use that ward all too lightly, in this sense at least. Like right now. It would actually be stupid if I get banned for that. Real stupid. Why do all of your characters have Shadowmorn? I have a mage, they can't equip Shadowmorn, so not all my characters have Shadowmorn, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean you grind for long enough and you get some Shadowmorns out of it. That's how it goes, man. That's the way the news goes. So yeah. Let's go ahead and press 1, 2, 3 furiously. And hope to get a lot of Divine Storm resets. That's gonna give us big, big damage. Got the names of the trinkets correct now. It's called Dark Matter. Alright, right, right, right. Alright, so Dark Matter. Versus our Kumi War Token. Let me just put up a little bit of a rotation here and now you get the resets of course when you don't want to get the resets you get them <sighs> too many buttons to press hold on i'll just finish this move uh or the mob is gonna finish me <laughs> murder it please thank you dark matter oh, this from algalon 2 to 2 attack power and a chance to increase your crit. I really don't like crit on proc. <laughs> nah, just go for Hakumi War Token, man. Crit on proc is horrible. Crit in general is not so good, but crit on proc? Eek. What if you don't get any crits? Then your entire trinket has been wasted. Leatherworking gives more stamina than blacksmithing. Yeah, I think leatherworking gives like plus two. And jewel crafting would give plus three. So if you want to max out your stamina, go for ladder working and jewel crafting. What's the name of this add-on with the alerts? It's Deadly Boss Mods DBM. It's in my Discord, you can find it under the add-on section. You mean proc on crit? No. I mean crit on proc. Your melee and ranged attack have a chance to proc a critical strike rating buff. And that, that just seems like horrible. I'd much rather go with Herkumi War Token. It's higher gear score. <sighs> Herkumi. No match found. What is this game shitting me? Am I mistyping it? Let's find out. Herkumi. Herkumi. Whatever. Alright, anyway. The haste is good for Retribution Paladins, and you know what? The fact that you're gonna be consistently attacking something is really good. Herkumol? Wait, no way, is it Herkumol? No fucking way, dude. It's Herkumol. I've played this game for 10 years and I've said Herkumi like an idiot. If someone says Herkumi, I'm gonna be like, actually, you know what? Herkumel. <laughs> it's not Herkumi, it's Herkumel. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna be a dick about it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna say I also messed this up for 10 years. Wow. I might actually be dyslexic. 
<laughs> Herkumi sounds so much better too. Is haste good for fury warriors? Not that great. No. Gear score isn't the thing that matters the most. No, I know that, but it's gonna help. If you've got near 300 gear score on one trinket, that is actually better. And you've got 200 gear score on the other trinkets, that's actually worse. It's a nice bonus that you get more gear score from the trinket that's better, right? That's the way I see it anyway. Anyway, this is gonna be the sixth run this week. It's, uh, it, it, it might be a bit messy, but it should still be really good. We're still gonna get Light of Dawn down. LK25 Heroic, so it should be a good time. Let's see some whispers. Can I ask you questions about that? Sure. Learn to read? Yeah, I don't know, dude. Herkumi sounds so good. Why not just say it? I'm just gonna stick to Herkumi. Mark my words, I am not ever gonna say Herkumol. Only to be an asshole will I say Herkumol. Aren't you tired of doing the same raid for 10 years? Nah, man, it's always a little bit different. You always got, like, different people. Uh, Discord is a big part of it, right? If uh, you were just playing the game without any kind of chat, uh, chat app, chat thing, then it would be hella boring. You just have some dude on raid warning going crazy. But um, with the Discord, you get personalities, you start making friendships with people, and uh, it, it's a good time. And the fact that people have been playing it for 10 years, it kinda helps. In a weird sense, it kinda helps. I wonder if we can pull these on that. A voice chat, exactly. How many Shadowmorns are there in the raid? Alright, let's do a count. Let's do a Shadowmorn count. No, Shadowmorn. What the fuck is this character? Hello, this is an Asperity run. Jam yourself, please. Alright, moving on. Uno, Shadowmorn. Shashology, I'm not sure if he has Shadowmorn, and he's a slacker, so he's not here yet. So, so far, there's one Shadowmorn. This is a second Shadowmorn for sure. Two, Shadowmorn. I think that's gonna be it today. Yeah. Just two Shadowmorns, that's really bad. Wow, this guild sucks. <laughs> nah, it's gonna be fine. The DPS is gonna be a little bit lower than usual, but uh, it should still be a good time, for sure. I wonder if I have improved Blessing of Might. Which bosses do you use the 264 Libram? So, this is the 264, all of them, I'm lazy. If I had to swap to Minmax, I'd use Valiance Libram on LK's third phase. Yeah, on PP I would actually stick to three truths. If you can't use a Crusader Strike every 15 seconds, even on a fight like PP, uh, you're doing something wrong. How much money does the Shadowmorn cost on Warmain? 150. Yep, Shaman please. I'm sorry dude, I tried playing Shaman, but there just wasn't a spot for a Resto Shaman today. Gonna ask you first, what should I get firstly for DKP? Offsets or Heroic Marks as a Fire Mage? Whatever you can get. The DKP will always come, but the chances to spend DKP might not always be there. So if you need an item, just go all in man. Unless you're trying to get some Ruby Sanctum Trinket or something, then keep like 2-3 thousand DKP on the, on, on the bench, you know? But if an item drops that you need, just buy it, for sure. Just think 80, what's the best area to get the best dailies? The best dailies are in Trial of the Crusader over here, the Argon Tournament Crowns. You'll work your way up to some juicy rewards in titles, in achievements as well. But honestly, I wouldn't recommend doing dailies in Red of the Lich King, you don't really get anything from them. All in for trinkets? Yep, always go all in for trinkets. I would just suggest getting a few reputation factions going, Tony. Picking up a few items from the reputation rewards. And then uh, maybe getting a few BOEs. Once you get into RDF Heroic, you can start doing RDF Heroics. Get 5k-ish gear score. Then you can do TOC 10, TOC 25, ICC 10 normal maybe. That should be the way. Hey, what's up, Upmir? Just got Choker from the back. Oh yeah, congratulations, dude. That is loud. 
Um, DPL, thank you for the subscription. I do appreciate it. I'm gonna lower that a bit. I don't know. I feel like a sensitive bitch today. Let's change the camera a little bit. There we go. Have you had an example as I stated? What do you think about it? The Mark of Supremacy Trinket says 247. Darken Card Greatness is massive DPS but 147. Yeah, yeah, like... I gave you the exact same example for gear score, but reversed. <laughs> you know, it, like, it doesn't matter. Gear score is not that important. Like, I never actually said, hey, gear score over stats. I actually said stats over gear score. You know, backing up your point. Send me five gold, please. Alright, if someone can send the man five gold, that'd be great. You think I should go Holy Pala, Prot Pala off spec or Red off spec when making a new character? I think you should make anything but a paladin. Make uh, make a warlock, man. Get some demonology going in in there. Maybe uh, make a boomkin, shadow priest. But if you're gonna make a paladin, uh, you're gonna want one of the three specs for sure. And as your second spec, you're gonna want one of the other two. If you make a healer, don't get prot as secondary spec, because if you then have to swap to prot, then someone else has to swap to holy. It's always better to get important role, DPS role, or DPS role, important role. Don't get important role, important role. It, it fucking sucks as a raid leader to have to work like around that. Trust me, I've been there so many times, it's annoying. PvP Marksman Hunter, all gems must be armor penetration. As long as you can cap your ARP, yep, do it. I think it's really unfair that only warriors, DKs and paladins have the best weapon in the game. Eh, yeah, well. In Cataclysm, it's the other way around, man. So, you know. My personal volume is just a bit loud. There we go. Alright. Hey, what's up, Alexa? Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. It's easy gold bro, just do winter grasp weekly, so it's 500 gold. I guess I never do that though, so that's a good tip if you know the tip. So thanks for letting us know the tip. What are we on? We're on Red Aura. Nah, that's fine. My shoulder just feels so sore. I don't know why. It's been going for like two weeks. I thought I slept on it wrong, but I think it's something worse. Like something systematic. One of your followers. Uh, first time trying Fury. Can you help me with macros? I got a guide on Fury. If you need more help after that, hit me up. Like, feel free to message me on Discord, but I might not always answer, like, you know, in a day. Gotta give me some more time. Did you play with Favorite Nightmare before? I've never played with Favorite Nightmare. I never really raided on the Horde side. Okay. And let's go. I got parried on my first hit. That's really unfortunate. It's gonna delay my stacking of the seal. Alright, so there we go. Let's pop that. Stack up. That's a good position for a nice little taunt on the hunter right, let's go gonna get one more set of spikes can we please get a reset ah we're not getting that reset are we and i can definitely taunt the uh the spikes on malgar but i'm, I'm just not feeling spicy enough tonight I have done it several times before, but... Yeah. Alright, these are some good spikes. Let's go ahead and maybe get, like... A reset! Nah, we're fine. Let's stay on the boss here. Marco Stamenkovic, thank you so much for the subscription. I do appreciate that, mate. <sighs> that guy is just not getting freed, and I'm not... <sighs> Alright, fuck it. Fuck it, let's focus spikes here. It's they're not dying fast enough. Like usually they'll die a bit faster, but it's six runs, so you're gonna have these scenarios. Let's try to stay as stacked as we can. If we get spiked, we'll want the AoE to happen on us. Uh 
Uh, did I taunt that? Or did I just take aggro? I think I taunted it. Yeah, I must have. Oh shit, it's Righteous Fury. Lol lol lol. Ah, oh, sorry, I had Righteous Fury up. Oops. I didn't actually taunt this time though, so that's improvement, right? Sort of? That's Maybe? progress right there, Abby. Right? Right? That's the optimistic way. Thanks, oh, Satan. Little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't so good. Spikes were up forever. And if you don't have all those uh, warriors, right? This can actually happen. That usually does happen if you don't have so many warriors. Alright. Are you using the EOF Librum? Yes. I hate Melgar and Spikes because I use mouse to target and it's so buggy to target Spikes. It's really risky. But um, if you focus up, you can usually get away with like doing some pretty uh, crispy plays there. Let's pop the wings here. We can drop a bomb as well. I keep forgetting about the Serenite bombs as well. You know, I never used to use these things before I started streaming and people were like, Hey Obi, you gotta use them bombs, bro. So now I'm trying, I'm trying. Alright. Let's get a quick divine plea up. Now let's go ham. Can Arcane Mage compare in DPS with DTW? On super short fights they can, but they need to burn all their mana like really quickly, right? Unless the fight is like 50 seconds or shorter even, Arcane cannot compete with TTW. And if TTW gets lucky, Arcane cannot compete with TTW. So it, it's like, no. Consistently, Arcane is not going to be able to top TTW. But in the right scenario, they can. Both bomb setup is also good. How you started streaming and advertising for on post guides or what? No, I just played the game. <laughs> like, I literally never advertised my stream anywhere. YouTube does that for me. Thanks, YouTube! Getting viewers streaming in private servers is hard. Well, the thing is, I did have some content before I started streaming, right? Some guides, some some kills here and there. And they got like 200, 300 views. I had maybe... Maybe like... Maybe like 400 subscribers, probably less than that before I started streaming. But like once you start and you consistently stream, which is an issue that I have, like I don't always consistently stream, uh, people will come. And if, if you're just, you know, nice to them, they'll stay. I think that's how I see it anyway. What's the requirement to join your guild? You need three characters over 6.2k gear score. Let's remove the Gift of the Wild here. I mean, I meant a gnome bomb. You mean just kick a gnome into the face of the boss? I'm down for that. Found him on YouTube when he had like two viewers and I think the video that I watched was the easiest class to gear. That's like my least favorite video. Out of all the videos that I've made, easiest classes to gear is definitely my... I just fucking hate it. I, I just don't like it. Not one bit. Bombs are roughly 22 DPS. Well, you know, it's damage. You can help push particular timers with it. If everyone uses the bombs, you know, it'll add up. But yeah, everyone's gotta use them, which is not the case, usually. But, hey man, I'm doing my part right. I'm killing this thing. I don't care if I can get a little bit more AoE DPS on the other side. There's still one at over there. I'm just gonna stun him. We're gonna avoid killing the rogue right here. Just stop using the vine storm until he is uh, out of that mind control. And we're gonna have to stop our DPS here and go hard on the ads. I'm gonna go left side this time because left side seem to be having some issues. Of course, the one fucking ad. <laughs> oh, they tried to stream snipe me with that death grip for sure. There we go. 
Had some decent CCs on them. No, uh, there's no mind control on the tanks. So I should be fine to just deeps. Alright, let's pop a potion here with the wings up. Go for a bomb here. There's a deformed fanatic that I could have AoE'd. And I'm on Shadow Resist Aura, so... On the boomy. You can see they're all following one target, right? That's a good thing to uh, keep in mind. Okay. Got mind controls incoming. Alright, let's not burst down our Retri buddy. When he's Cyclone, you can resume your area of effect. Oh shit, I just Divine Stormed my buddy. Not good. I'm just gonna pop the Aura Mastery here. I think I just saved like every single fucking melee. But all the healers are dead somehow. That's not good. And those melee spirits just murdered us. I was looking at other stuff for just half a second. They could still do it, but it's it's tough. They've got two healers up. Affliction is coming in really hard today. The enhancement, look at that. What the hell? Let's take a look at what build that is. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. How good can a boomkin be in terms of PvE DPS? It's really good. How do you set up percentage aggro? Uh, you go to interface. Combat. You... Oof. I don't know, it's somewhere in here. Alright, they called the wipe. That escalated a little bit. Perhaps status text? I don't know where to, where to actually get that up. But it's in here somewhere. That's the in-game version, and I have Omen 3, like somewhere in the corner here, for uh, a more clear vision of it. Have you ever seen a Blood Decay DPS? It's not good. Is Shadow Frost damage? One Shadow Aura Mastery doesn't work. Uh, if it's Shadow and Frost damage, Shadow Aura Mastery should absolutely work. Yo, I'll be soon. Soon you'll be hitting that 10k subs. Here's a question, where's your transmog? I like the Retri tier 10 actually. I like it so much that I don't want to transmog it. Um, it's a big part about why I went with this cloak as well. Like people will be asking me, why don't you take the agility cloak? Well, I got the agility belt. Because this looks better than that uh, blue cloak from Gunship Battle, right? You have a Holy Priest? Yes. Never played it on stream though. <laughs> and I don't really play it all that often outside of the stream as well. Does Lady Death and Decay do any damage on this server? We heal right through it. We just simply don't care about it. If it was Warcraft 3 Death and Decay, we might have had to care about it. But it's it's healable damage. If it's, if it's avoidable, avoid it. But it is healable. Henry Christian, thank you so much for the subscription, mate. I do appreciate that. That Warlock is something else. Yeah, he did very well. Let's take a look at the Enhancement Shaman, because honestly, that's a lot of damage for an Enhance. DBW. But Abi, DBW on Shaman sucks! Why are you using it? It's bad! Oh, this is actually like straight up my setup. Apart from a few items that I simply don't have, this is actually my setup. Aside from this. But I feel like this man is going a lot of arc. Oh shit, we gotta buff up fast. Fidel Comp, thank you so much for the subscription. I do appreciate that, mate. It's Bobby. ink. You've got it ink. I'm sorry. There we go. Get those buffs up. Get a divine plea up because we used a lot of mana to buff. Let's roll up the sleeve a bit. And let's go one more time. Okay, let's go ahead and get right over here. This is a juicy stack. Let's just pop the wings here. We'll be able to get the second wings later on in the fight. Maybe we can even mix it with the twilight skill. Make sure you're not in seal of command when the mind control happens, by the way. 
you can deal a lot of damage to the raid if you are uh, if you are with the shadow with the seal of commander. All right, there's one more taunt. All right, we're gonna have to stop here on the boss. It's hard on the ads. Hope I don't get crit by this man. Alright, now we're gonna have to wait for the mind control. It's not on any of the tanks, so it's good to go. I'm gonna get misdirections, tricks of the trade on the tank, and let's go. Like, Death and Decay deals about 4k damage per tick. So avoid it if you can, but if you can't avoid it, you can't avoid it. Healers need a job to do as well, you know. <laughs> if they got nothing to do, they'll go aboard and stop healing. You gotta keep them on their toes. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I see a nice timing with the wings, with the trinket, and we can even pop the potion. So yeah, it's gonna be in about 30 seconds here. Let's repent and Santi all right there. Not coming to the melee, that's good. Alright. Let's go for a nice seal of command here. And really mess up these ads. We can throw the bomb as well. Oh, Jesus. I just popped the Shadow Hour Mastery because uh, we're almost done with the fight. Just play it safe at this point. Actually use the cooldowns. It doesn't really matter at this point. Okay. Well, that's fine. 17k. That's really good, actually. If we would have like wings at the very start, we would have probably beaten Mama Nina, but that's alright. If you do not play Blood DPS on 10k special or the sub run, uh, you will make many people sad. I've said it a million times, DK DPS at 100k subscriber special. At the 10k special, you're gonna get something else. Something better. Is it really important to, swat to switch to Seal of Command on the ads? It really isn't. Uh, let's see how much damage it actually did. I feel I felt like we did enough damage this time around, right? But if you're not like 100% certain that they're nicely stacked up, then don't do it. Ronin5141, thank you so much for the subscription. I do appreciate that, man. Thank you. I remember now the 10k deal is the voice reveal. <sighs> what? What are we talking about here? My voice is all over the place. How can I reveal it? Alright. Divine storms for days! Very nice. Shade, thank you for the subscription. I do appreciate that. Wait, what? Shade? Shade? How have you betrayed me? All this time you were not subscribed. How is that possible? I feel, I feel pained. I feel like I'm in pain now. Thank you. Let's mess up this Oracle. It's gonna be the final target to live, so... Single targeted. Had to do it to him? No, thanks, man. 10k is the only fans account? Yes. I'll put up feet picks there, and belly picks, and maybe even an ankle pick every now and then. But besides that, you guys have to stop being so greedy. At 10k, Nick's Audi windows reveal. Alright, yeah, his poor Audi. Make a video about Blood DK DPS guide. Never, 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 never. Never. 10k special is Blood DK DPS in retail. Nope. The, uh, how do you get the polypower add-on to be that small? You go into the settings, you options, you buff skill. Whoop! You put that right down to like something. It's just barely visible. 
And that's how you want to do it. I love your huge bags. Same. They're so nice. As a paladin, having like 15 different sets of gear. Yes. They're like a must-have. How do you get those bags? You donate for them. No other way. Uh, I think in Retail Blizzard, you used to be able to get them through the trading card game. It's like everything we can't get nowadays. Oh shit, cute as fuck is going hard. Alright, let's see if we can beat. But my hands are so cold. I feel like that's that's affecting my DPS. <laughs> but let's see. We're just gonna push one and two. I have so many problems with back slots. My bank is also full. Yeah, I know man. I know the struggle. He got a very good lead right at the start. He, may, he might have had like a little bit more heat. Well, let's see how this works out. Alright, there's about 5k difference. Alright, the thing's dead. Let's quickly get in. PvP gear, h pala PvE, rat. Yep, 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 yep. I have to stream and do a face reveal when all we reach 10k subs. Sure, man. Let's see that holy priest thing. Without discipline, please cliff this time, please. Alright. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. I missed the beard, senpai, from your face. I'm glad that I don't have the beard anymore. Yeah, like, I, I really don't like the beard. Last time I was disciplined with Holy Priest Glyphs. Oh, right. Well, I'm not sure which is worse. I think they're equally as bad. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'll do HP. I'll do a H Priest as well. Season will be over for Arena and I'll have my titles. Oh, yeah. Nick is getting them PvP titles. How's that going, man? Could you explain why you're not hitting mortars with cannons? Because it doesn't matter. As long as the cannons are doing enough damage, we have so much more damage than them, they don't have to die. If everybody on the cannon is slacking, like let's say we would all have 200k damage dealt by now, right? Then the mortars become an issue, those rocketeers in the back. But as of now, they're just simply not an issue. They're a non-factor. As long as you have enough damage, it's all good. You look better without it. Next step is contacts. <clears throat> nah, dude. Anything that gets close to my eyeballs, I just freak out. I tried I, uh, contacts once, and never again. Like, literally. If I take my glasses off, I feel vulnerable. Everything that comes into, like, this area, I will just be like, Ugh. Get away. <laughs> like, I can't, man. I can't wear contacts. Like, you have to open your eyeball, take it on your finger, and I can't see shit right now, right? I see three webcams. Like, that's, that's some serious case of astigmatism. So you take the thing, and then you have to, like... I can't go further than this. My brain will not allow me. Like, my left feet is shaking right now. I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I will never wear contacts. Never. I am a glasses guy all the way through. I had the same thing when I was 16. It's possible to get over it. Not for me. I'm a bitch. <laughs> like, literally, if my body starts convulsing, it's like, it's too close. <laughs> I've always had glasses, right? So to me, I, I'm not gonna touch the glasses because I'm gonna smudge them. But to me, like right here, this is where my eyeball begins. I'm like a mosquito. <laughs> Anything closer than that, and I start freaking the fuck out, man. 2604 rating now. Nice. Congrats, man. Did I see Sourfang pulling up to your ship? Uh, maybe it bugged out. It, it happens. Like, I wouldn't be too worried about it. Let's equip the epic purple shirt for maximum DPS. Actually, item level 1. Item level 1. Hmm. No, oh, no. Need the ring or hand skate. I can't use my spells, guys. Get fucked. Reload. Okay, ring is on last pack. Anyone? Else? A relog. <laughs> Thanks, Boxster. <laughs> oh shit, look at me. I'm shiny. 
Oh, I'm so shiny. No, yeah. I'm like a ball of Tyrion's jizz. I'm actually Tyrion's... Oh, shit. Yeah, Tyrion does not have skeletons. But yeah, let's get rid of that because we won't be able to attack. Let's go ahead and get a nice little G-bomb. On that shummy. Can we... Daddy slave? What the hell? <laughs> Alright, whatever. That looks so cool, right? Epic purple shirt is this. Yup. Are you doing Horde subscriber run? No. Uh, we'll have Horde subscriber run next Monday. We're only gonna have one subscriber run a week now. Is oh yeah your catchphrase? Not really, but... Sure, why not? Let's get Retribution Aura up for some sick dipsa. Oh yeah, let's get jiggy with him. I feel it's like I'm sucking his dick, but... <laughs> How do you get the epic purple shirt trading card game? It cost one coin on the war main store. But yeah, there's no way to actually get it in-game, you gotta buy it. Let's -a go. Okay, there's the heroism. It's very late, but that's fine. Come on, give me a reset. Come on, Arab, give me resets. For the alliance. Come on, come on, come on, resets. I'm getting so shit RNG right now, you don't even know. I don't even know either, because I, I wouldn't be able to calculate that. I suck at math. Oh, come on, give me something to press. Could have also went for a taunt on the Blood Beasts. But considering it is 6th run, I was kind of waiting to see how is our range DPS, you know? How are they dealing with this? Is it safe for me to actually taunt? Because if I get crit, I'm dead. Nothing I can do about it. I'm just straight up dead. I'm gonna Aura Mastery, the Retribution Aura. There we go. Big DPS increase. And we're gonna go for the second potion soon enough. Let's get max melee range so the Blood Beast doesn't nuke us. There we go. Potion coming up here. And Mama Nina and me. We are definitely vying for it here. There we go, and there's the second potion. I'm assuming he used this potion a bit earlier, but it's all in the RNG. Like, if he gets more Divine Storm resets than me, eh, you know, it's whatever. Of course it's not all in the RNG, there, there's a lot of, like, skill to it. You gotta press the buttons at the right time, but... Yeah, it's mostly RNG. I'm not sure if he's taunting Blood Beast, but that's also a very nice DPS increase indeed. Alright, we got to our second wings, just pop him immediately. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, he might have wings that start, actually. That's also something that could have happened. But yeah. Both solidly around 20k. So that's that's good. Protector Heroic and Spirit Cloak. Meh. Warlock, of course, going very nicely. And let's enter. Same thing as 10 years ago. Yep. 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 Ah. Okay. Divine Shield. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Three hearts? No, yeah. Crazy how fast the Blood Beasts get racked. Yep. Three patches live on many servers. Yep. It should be live on EU servers tomorrow, I think. That number one rogue has trinkets already. Good luck for the trinkets. Yeah, there's always somebody that needs the trinkets. Like, I think today, um, Anya needs a lot of gear. Because we checked him earlier and he's basically naked. But yeah. I mean, it's good DPS. Like I said, Anya and Delda right there, they'll probably need a bit of gear. This is another Affliction Warlock. Alright. So we have two Afflictions and one demo. And one of the demos is doing pretty well. One of the Afflictions is doing hella well. And the other Affliction? Hmm, well. 
He's learning. He'll get there. Why did they remove the Valkyrs from the middle of Ice to Sea? They're not removed. They're still there. They were probably just flying in a pattern where you couldn't see them. But they're still there for sure. Like minutes to kill Sourfang? Yep. That's why it's like arguable if waiting for the for Avenging Wrath is worth it, right? I like to wait for it. On a longer fight, it definitely makes more sense. But on a fight like where it's two minutes tops, or like roughly two minutes, you might actually be better off just straight up getting two Avenging Rats in. Uh, two wings, right? Like if you pop it right at the start, you'll have it a little bit sooner. And also, you're gonna enter death. You gotta be careful with that shit. I'll mastery on the second pull. Okay. If that's alright with you, Mr. Toshami. Yeah, of course. Yes, sir! Tomorrow. It's tomorrow, right? Pre patch. Or is it in killings? Yeah, I think it's tomorrow. Like, it's live on NA right now. That's what I heard from chat. But I don't yeah, think yeah, we I'm have like... it yet. But yeah. I Let's play the shit out of some Shadowlands. Let's get this. Become number one raiding guild on EU. I'm dead. Alright, not number Raven one raiding Crest. guild, maybe two. Raven <laughs> Crest is a very good server. Yeah, but there's a high population. Yeah. So we're probably gonna have a big ass queue. Like, I'm scared. I cyclone. I think. Uh, beyond time, you know. You know, Do, mm -hmm. Do you remember when Classic came out? And there was a waiting line for the quests. Probably it's gonna be worse. It's gonna be worse than that, man. It doesn't work like that on retail. Mm, why don't we just level up in Warlords of Draenor? Nobody should be in there. Actually, every world is gonna be there. Oh, right. Because it's, it's like the faster expansion to level. Oh, my joke didn't land. Oh. Time to mute myself, shamefully. There we go. <laughs> One minute kill flat? Nah, nah, it's like usually like two minutes. If you have like the main group of Asperity, we can definitely kill DBS like before the second Avenging Rat can be cast. But yeah. It's good. How much do you usually spend for max engineering? About... About uh, 3k gold. And then I will also do jewel crafting right afterwards. So f about five qu about five k gold in total. That's uh, the average. Nosferhatu, thank you so much for the subscription. I do appreciate that, man. Thank you. All right, just in time to smash the sister. Also, just in case you're wondering, she is my stepsister, so it's okay. Smash. Pop some CDs here, so we don't get impaled. You don't want to get impaled by stepsister. You want to be the one doing the smashing, you don't want to get smashed. Ah, I'm getting smashed. Some TL accidentally, like, taunted it. But he can't, he can't actually DPS when it's on him, so I was like very valiant. I figured I taunt it, but now I'm the one getting parried. Damn it, Santial! It's okay, we'll have divine protection, there we go. And that should be it. Alright, this isn't bugged I think, so that's fine. Strength haste is better for high DPS due to more rage and execute phase, but crit is better for consistency and progress. Just go for full strength if you're jamming a fury while here. Don't go for haste or crit, just full strength. You've got a crazy modifier, man. Absolutely crazy modifier. This right here, plus 20% strength, plus greater blessing of kings, that's 30% additional strength. Katalin, thank you so much for the subscription, I do appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Skada damage is not there. Yeah, yeah, I had it on the wrong thingy, but it, it should be fine. It should be fine. But um, just go jam full strength. Don't worry about haste or crit. Just hardcore on that str. Like I say in the guide, get a lot of strength gems, and then gems fall from the 
excuse me, then gems fall from the sky, right? And that's how it goes. No more wife beater stash. <laughs> if you say it like that, I'm definitely never gonna get a beard again. No reses for you? Nah, it's okay. I'll release and walk back. That's fine. It's honestly faster if I just release. My damage, unbuffed. It's not gonna, like, actually help more than them waiting 10 seconds for a resurrection, right? Let's go ahead and pick up a false resistance. And that gets interrupted very nicely. Well done, Hunter. I'm gonna drop a nice... <sighs> I got okay, this. Uh... Monkly. <laughs> I got fucking crit. Like, I got so crit. Like, f I, I swear to God, I would have lived that if it was like 1k less damage. Uh, feels. 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 Feels something, man. Nah, it's better than nothing, to be honest. That's why I played this damn game. Ah, but at least you can do rebuff on yourself. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There, I also helped with the skeleton. Are you proud of me, Chesh? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna shamefully mute myself one more time. Man, Discord is not good. <laughs> it's not good tonight. <laughs> what the fuck happened? I got dead. I got hella dead. And that was a 43, 43k crit, right? Give me a stamina buff. I died on the... On the freaking digit, man. I taw. Taw. <laughs> I got scared. Oh, Jesus. That was a big scam, honestly. Look at that. I, if you go back, I got fucking crit again. 5% chance? Uh uh. Nuh uh. No. No. Can I? No. no. Can I learn this power? From <laughs> How do I get crit twice? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, so I was going to taunt, but then I took aggro without taunting. Uh -huh. It's like Melgar, man. I swear to God, it wasn't progression; it was a regression. Uh, I think you just swapped up a key binding or something with taunt in it. Oof! I actually did that to one dude once. He gave me his account, and I was like, "Divine Storm, <laughs> Hand of Reckoning." <laughs> <laughs> it, it took him five bosses to realize that he had taunt on his divine storm. <laughs> oh, I told the shit out of that man. Which faction is better at PvP? Definitely the Alliance. Definitely. Uh, the humans, their racial is just too strong. Their racial is like so incredibly strong. If I fight a human paladin, there's a really, really big chance that I'm gonna die, right? Because when he pops his uh, wings at the start, he can push me into Divine Shield. And I won't have like a, a, a second trinket to push him back. So he's gonna have two trinkets and I'm gonna have one trinket. And it, it's not fair. Got to go now, see ya. Alright, Shade, thanks for stopping by and have yourself a wonderful day, man. Straight up not true. Horde is better at PvP. Well, go ahead and check the arena rankings. I'm sure that you will see a lot more Holy Paladin, Arms Warrior humans than uh, the, than Horde counterparts. No Horde run today? Nope. Go back to retail. I will do that tomorrow. The pre-patch is coming out soon. <laughs> At least I have better RNG there. Alright, can we not die? Please, for one freaking moment. And I'm um. That's absolutely no bueno. And if I keep getting Divine Storm resets, I'm gonna be um again. Yeah, there we have it. King Paladin with no mana feels Burning Crusade. Alright, we're gonna have to be a bit careful. Your armor must be around red. Nah, man. I got hidden donor abilities. My armor doesn't actually break. You get that after you've donated for 1,000 coins. How else do you think I got these characters, man? 
Is there a guide for warming engineering? No, I don't think there is. Maybe on the forums, but I never use it. Uh, just use your own eyeballs. That's what I would uh, advise you. Prices are always changing. Uh, one season, the silver bars could be like 50 gold. And the next season, the silver bars can be like 50 copper, right? So none of the guides that you'll find are actually going to have current information. So just take the time to look at what gives you a level up. Go to the auction house, see what's the least expensive, and do it like that. It takes a little while longer, but you'll end up, like, fiscally in a better situation, right? Just mine it. Yeah, just mine it. <laughs> Alright, I don't have a truth buff yet, so I'm gonna give it to myself. And are you guys ready to get crit one more time? Let's get crit. What's the best in slot trinket of a blood decay tank? Uh, you'll want the Sindragosa's Flawless Fang. And probably Organ. Or the TOG C25 trinket that gives you some, uh, some juicy, whatchamacallit, some juicy HP on proc on activate but there's a lot of trinkets that you can just pick up in dungeons and they're still gonna be pretty good for you like if you get the, the black heart from TOC 5 that's really good if you get the Corona skeleton key even that's pretty good you combine that with like a small cooldown and suddenly your absorption becomes uh, much better Satrinas yes I'll be topping the death meters Hey man, that's why you, that's why you lock your main to top the meters. <laughs> oh yeah, we got to use guild up there. Ness. I should have actually manned that up, but you know, should have also swapped into Seal of Vengeance, but you know. DPS. The Skada didn't actually reset, so we didn't get like the crazy people on the deeps. There was probably someone doing insane damage, but we didn't get the Skada reset because we were still in combat with some of the spiders in the back. So yeah, that's why no one spiked. Which explain the whole Sinagosa fight in detail. Oof, how about donating me first, huh? <laughs> I'll uh, see what I can do. I'll probably miss a few things, but from a red perspective, there's a few tips and tricks for sure let's see what i can do for you ow 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 oh thank you that works out actually thank you spine stalker big bay Totanki. I got you, Totanki. Actually, Esgar got you. Just for the record, I taunted that dragon as soon as I saw it was on you, Toshami. I mean, I'm fast and I go to uh, defense and I do uh, shield up, you know. Oh, that's no fun. You got a light on white knight. You can taunt and you can die, but I won't uh, die. <laughs> Alright, well, next time I'll still taunt. That's usually what I do when Maggie get, when Maggie like takes aggro, you know when she used to play with us? All those years ago. What is me? Fish. If she'd take aggro at Rotface, I'd be like, no, I am here. You don't have to fear, Maggie. I will defend you and your honor. Why well, is not Maggie playing anymore? I don't know. Work. Imagine eating while skydiving? No, yeah. Imagine skydiving and then like you just whip out a lunch bag, open up that like plastic bag, and you're like, like whoosh, right, you're opening up the plastic bag. A, a piece of lettuce falls. <laughs> There's some dude farming and he's just chilling and they're like lettuce. <laughs> oh, what a situation. 
feel like I'm missing buffs. Magus buff, please. Magus wizards. And Delta, please give me some spell crit. Or not. Puh. Fucking discount mage. Puh. I don't need that spell crit. I'm gonna get crit anyway. Alright, let's go. So, uh, yeah, I'll show a few tricks if I can. Is this a private server? Yes. But let me focus up on this skill, and then we'll get back to the comments. Sindragosa is important fight. It's like PP. I want to get as much damage here as possible. But yeah, not having that spell crit actually kind of hurts, because a lot of your spells are actual spells as a paladin. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop the divine shield. We're gonna remove the divine shield, and we can just eat the blistering cold just like that. It can also work with divine protection, if you need like a secondary blistering cold save thing. Okay, I'm a first AM. There is the AM. Let's give Piranha a gift of the Naru as well. Let's go over here. There seems to be more people in mid than on the sides. Let's get some nice damage on these tombs. Oh. We actually need to save up a little bit of mana here. Let's just do peanut damage here. Just get some mana back with the Divine Plea. Uh, I should have swapped over false resistance, but a little bit of a mistake there. I hope he realizes it and picks it up. I don't really feel like making that call on this court. I feel like he'll notice it. He's a good Red Pala. He'll notice it. I have utmost faith in him. So yeah, I don't think we'll be able to use the uh, cheese right here because we have Forbearance up. But it doesn't really matter anyway, because look at the boss's health. We're gonna have to stop our DPS, so that we can actually get the proper push in, right? We wanna... At 35%, she's gonna push. So... You'll want actually to like... Chill a little bit with the DPS, wait for the air phase. I'm gonna keep my Holy Vengeance stacks up. Because the amount of like health percentage that she has, it actually like allows me to do that. If she was closer, I would just let it drop off and not worry about it. Alright, there's the Frost Resist Aura, that's all good. Hey Eric, what's up? Hope you're having a wonderful day, mate. Alright, we have one casualty, that's alright, he'll get picked up. People are using dots. That's not something you want to do. Right, we're gonna rebuff the rogue. He's out of line of sight. How unfortunate. How unfortunate. One more taunt. And let's go. The heroism is gonna get popped. And yeah, she'll turn around nowadays, but don't worry about it. She does that to target a person with the tomb. Still my heart skips a beat whenever she turns around like that in the middle of a cast. I think it's a false breath, right? Ah, that fucking warlock is getting in here. It's good DPS non nonetheless. It's so weird when she looks at us. Yeah man, my heart skips a beat every time it happens. I like look at her cast bar and I'm like, uh-oh, cross breath. Uh-oh. <laughs> but yeah, the affliction did really well. We did most of our damage on the tombs, not gonna lie. But considering it is the sixth run, it's fine. The tombs weren't instantly getting wrecked, right? So if we take a look at enemy damage taken on Sindragosa. 
We, we still did pretty fine, but a lot of people beat us on single target. Which makes sense. Which makes all the sense. Red Palla has a rotation or just skill priority? Red Palla is a priority list, for sure. No, this is Patrick. No, this is Retail. Do you know any good Bulgarian players? Yeah, several. Oh, actually, quite a few. Up. Oh. <laughs> People thought we pulled, but we really didn't. He's got evasion up, me think. So he should be fine for a bit. Once he starts actually taking hits, that's when we'll taunt away from him. We can also stun it. That'll help out. We just used our stun at the exact same time. Me and Mama Mina. Exact same timing on the stun. That that was honestly pretty. Pretty pretty. What's better for that? Agility or strength? I have a video titled Let's Talk About Agility Strength Paladin or Agility Retribution Paladin. You can check that out. Like it basically has to do with diminishing returns on agility. That's why I think strength is better. Besides that, you have a little bit more strength modifiers from your talents. But just check the video if you want to know like my full opinion on it. Balkans love wild private servers. Yeah, they do. And you know what? I've come to love Balkans as well over the years. They're nice people. They can be a bit crude, and there's you know usually a bit of a language barrier, but they're they're fun. I'd much rather mess around with like someone from the Balkans who actually who is like smart enough to be stupid than having to like sit in a discord with a whole bunch of Europeans that are uptight as fuck and don't allow any kind of humor right or even Americans I've been in American raiding guilds that had that as well all right guys we're in the raid now there's no time for fun and I'm like huh but 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 it's supposed to be fun! Why can't I have fun? So yeah, I, I, honestly, Asperity is a mixture of all kinds of cultures, right? We got Spanish people, we've got Belgian people, although they suck. We've got Dutch people, and they're better than Belgians. And we've got Americans, and it's all good. It's all just a mix of every kind of culture, and that's the way I actually like it. Where are you from? I'm from Holland, the Netherlands, the Dutchies. My guild run is like clear chat spam. Yeah, that's fine. Like, you do actually need to have a modicum of, you know, like seriousness in a raid. <clears throat> but um, you sh there should still be room for fun. I was gonna holy wrath them, but I actually got uh, oozed, so I couldn't. It's gonna taunt the scientist, line of sight him, get him into the stack, and have him get wrecked. I'm all out of holy rats here, so I can't help out that much. But I can definitely AoE DPS with a bomb. Oh, I didn't actually throw it. If I go to Holland, could we take some Desperados and do some raids together? Uh, I've never done like a subscriber meetup or something, but uh, if you just want to crack open a cold one and have some fun, like... I mean... Are you gonna bring your PC? <laughs> your laptop maybe? I don't know, dude. I feel like the logistics of it would be, uh, eh. And I, I don't think I want people to know where I live. Although I'm pretty sure Facebook has already spoiled that for me. Is Bartender add-on worth it to use? I honestly don't like Bartender. I tried it, and I didn't like it. Can't even really give you a good reason as to why I don't like it. I just don't. I... I'm not even sure what Bartender even does at this point. Uh, it was so long ago, man. I think it's a thing similar to Grit. He will kill you. That's the thing. That's why I don't want to do subscriber meetups. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared, actually. What if he's an imposter? I'm sitting here doing my task and suddenly, like... It's scary, dude. It's scary. 
You need to make a gaming house? I don't have the money to make a gaming house, but sure, at some point. Which character is your main? This is my main. Obby? Obby? Obby. How old are you? I'm 24. I tried Bartender 4 yesterday and it's awful. I, I really didn't like it, man. Let's see here. And now, I don't know why you have like 100k more melee damage. Not even glancing and dodge parry. Just like you do 20 more crits. RNG, man. I got... Uh... 55.33%. It. Yes, yes, yes. Get the mites up as well. All of the mites. All of the lights. All of them flashing mites. Wait, yeah. Wait. 50.33%. We don't have horn up at the moment. That's true. I'm gonna see if the teleportation still works. That's a bit of an early potion, but it's okay. Teleportation still works. Alright, so... You download Gagarin, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm sorry, Warmain. I didn't mean to say that. It's just a joke. I don't condone Hex. What glyphs do you use? Um, I'm using Seal of Vengeance. I'm using. Oh, shit! Consecration. And Glyph of Judgment. So, those three. And you need to have Sense on that up as well. Sense on that is just gonna give you 1% free damage. And it's a minor glyph, so you'll want it. It's really good. Alright. With the next SDS, we're gonna be using a potion of speed. Vesta and Rot are so easy compared to PP. Vesta and Rot are honestly incredibly boring. If I would change anything about ICC, it's Vesta got and Rot face. Tim wants to just straight up delete them. I don't think that's what you wanna do. Um I would actually change it to where the fights are actually, like, fun, you know? Like, just add in a whole bunch of mechanics. More malleable goose, why the fuck not? Why not just add, like, more vile gases? Why not have some kind of healing debuff, you know? I'm a little bit late with that potion, because I was talking. But, um... Why not, why not just add more fun to it? Like, yeah, this is the slog. Once you get into Faster Gut and Rot Phase... ICC feels like it's taking forever, right? Because the fights are not fun. They're rewarding in sense of gear. But that's about it. Besides the gear that drops here, there's no reason to be here, for real. There's a second wings. Let's go for the shadow resistance, our mastery. If I even had shadow up. If I didn't, then whatever. Whoa, that malleable fucking destroyed the melee. Oh man, I was doing so well as well. I didn't see it, like, at all. Same. I blame you, though. Do you won't get hit. Yeah, if you see it, uh, you, you wanna get hit, of course. Yeah, but, 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 you're supposed to call that out, man. Just blame these uh, people here. That's so small and the melee. Honestly, why don't we all take Norgan Fogren? Look at that, that double, loot. dude. Perfect. Oh. Really? <laughs> what about loot chip? I think loot chip is fine. It's like a nice little break. You can honestly have people go to the toilet while you start it, and they come back like halfway throughout the fight, and it's fine. I think loot chip is fine. But. Mm. Fester and Rot, that's honestly... Meh. I thought Abby was gonna top. Eh, we're top 5. That's good enough. Can you see my DPS, please? Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> Wait, he's in the raid? If he's in the raid, then that's fine. 
Manko, Manko, Manko. Ah, you are in the ring. Yes, it's horrible. Give me your account and make another account. Give me that too. Nah, it's fine. Let's take, take a look here. Like, what is actually going on here? He does have to mangle because that's the way our group is set up. I can't really tell from here. It can be better, but I need to see his gear too. Like, deciding on if you can do more or less DPS, it's on... Yeah, no DBW. There goes your burst, man. <laughs> I don't think he's armor capped. Like, armor pen capped either. You are capped. You can bind your re equipment sets? Yes. Can you auto it? Uh, do you use auto attack macros? Uh, no, but I probably should. Let's rebuff that pet. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Just refresh it. Let's get in there quick. I'm gonna pop that heroism here. That's some Gucci. But yeah, it's all just RNG. I mean, if I top sometimes with 22k DPS and then the next time I'll do 17k, it's not me slacking. It's this class actually being so full with RNG. Like right now, we have Heroism up. I had the Engineering Gloves up. I had the Potion of Speed up. And how many Divine Storm resets did I get? Three or four? That's really bad. There's a 40% chance on every auto attack to reset your Divine Storm. And if that doesn't proc, then you're just not doing damage. It's that simple. And then and there's always, you know, critical strikes. If you don't crit, you're dealing less damage with the exact same ability that you're using. So it, it, it's pure RNG. All you can do is do your best, hope for the rest, and then just get that gear, man. Get that DKP. Get that money. That's why I'm saying, like, I think me and Mama Nina, we're pretty much equal on skill. Uh, he's probably better at utility than I am, because I'm very, very slacking on utility. But in terms of damage, it's probably about the same. Like, there's only so much you can do on that. Why do you give Crusader Strike priority over Divine Storm? Well, I gave it priority right there because I was reading chat. Uh-oh, let's get rid of that the vile gas with the Divine Shield. And I don't. Maybe you saw that happen like one time when I was like in the middle of like talking to myself. Yeah, that'll happen. Or it resets and I'm literally al already smashing the Crusader Strike button. It'll happen. You gonna play Shadowlands? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Tomorrow is the pre-patch. Let's do some pre-patch things tomorrow. Let's do one more wings here. Yeah, we can pop the potion. Why not? Might as well. See if we can beat Anapolon. Come on! Don't kill shot, bitch! Nope, don't kill shot! Don't fucking kill shot! And we're fine. <laughs> that was bad loot. You should have start attack on at least one button as a melee? Yes, absolutely. I don't have it because... Well, I really should, like I said. So let's go ahead and fix that. I mean, on a red pala, it's not as bad on, as on uh, some classes. Some classes, like, as a warrior, you won't have rage, right? And then you actually need to, like, right-click the boss if you want to start your uh, auto-attack. But on red, as long as you have mana, it shouldn't be an issue. Hunters can proc more kill shots with readiness, right? Is it worth to save readiness for last? If the bosses die this quickly in like an end game raiding guild, it's debatable. It really is debatable because are you gonna get a double kill shot? Yes. But is your rapid fire actually gonna be like up until the boss? Like, are you gonna get 100% uptime on that rapid fire, right? There's a lot of things to consider. Also, you're not gonna have both of your trinkets at the end of the fight. And you're gonna have both of those trinkets up at the start of the fight, when you wanna have your burst, right?
I'll do the first repentance. If, uh, you mean it like that, right? I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed. Ah, help! Save me! <laughs> Alright, I'm doing the first repentance, guys. I'm on my way. Uh, uh. Okay. They were all stacked up. It was hard to see, man. But I did it. Alright, let's pop some wings here. And let's go hard. Wait. Yeah, there, there she is. Didn't even get crit. Do you advise me to play Red Pala as my second character? Red Pala is super strong. If you want to have a character that you can solo things with. Old raids, old dungeons. All kinds of stuff, right? Paladin is the best soloing and boosting class in the game. For sure. Yeah. But me and uh, with my shields. You can equip shield too, you know. You really I, want to. I could, but I don't have keybinds for that. But yeah. It's crazy, but... I really don't know where I put the shield, because I have thought about it. Like, I got the PvP macro. But man, it's a struggle. And also, it's le much less damage. I don't like that. Nice blood, sir. Do you use haste gloves or rocket glove? Always haste for PvE. Is that why? This is red lemonade. Mm. So I had red lemonade. And I also had chocolate milk. It's a very nice day today. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Red tea? No, no. Lemonade. Just red lemonade. <laughs> this is all the stuff, like... You put about this amount of lemonade, and then you put like this amount of water. It's good stuff. It's nice and easy. It is sugar. And I honestly don't eat that many things with sugar, unless I buy a pack of cookies. Then that entire pack of cookies is gonna get eaten out. But, um... <laughs> I don't take that much sugar, so when I do drink lemonade, I actually feel energized. What flavor? It's, um... I think this is cranberries. Not my favorite, but, you know... It is what it is. If you really want energy, you should just drink a few Jaeger bombs with monster energy. That's how you get liver fuck. <laughs> Did you see the question on general chat on your Discord? No, I don't check my Discord while I'm raiding, man. I can only do so many things at once. That is a little bit too much. I'll check the question on the Discord after the raid. Tequila sunrises are better? Never had it. Maybe. PP fight and grabs popcorn. No, yeah. They did fix the malleable goo bug hitting the melee. So that's really good. That's beneficial AF. Alright, there's the G-bomb on the wolf as well. What add-on do you use for sw for fast gear swap swapping? This is not an add-on. Just go into interface, features, and click use equipment manager. I wish I could play rat on retail. My guild only allows one rat. Yeah, I don't know, man. Votlek is more balanced in that sense. Like, you wanna have two rats, you wanna have two warriors, you wanna have at least one shaman. Having two shamans doesn't even hurt. You wanna have two warlocks, you wanna have two hunters, you wanna have two druids at the very least, preferably more druids. You wanna have two mages, you wanna have two shadow priests. Like, Wrath of the Lich King is very, very balanced. Whether it be because of their utility or their damage, every class can bring something to the table except for Blood Decay. Easiest way to install add-ons on Warming 3.3.5, just copy them into the add-on folder. Just extract them there. Botlick was good, but I need more content. Oh yeah, same. That's why we're on Shadowlands now. Or... Tomorrow. 
should be a good time. Blotike is Hysteria? Nah, he's gonna give it to himself. You know, unless, like, without that Hysteria, Blotike is not gonna do any damage. So yeah, there's not a single bit of utility coming from the Blood Decay, except for 10% attack power. And in a 25-man raid, you've got Enhancement Shamans, Hunters, Blood Decay Tank. So... Tomorrow you'll be waiting for Q around 30k. Well, we can always play Warmain while we wait for the Q. Ha ha ha! Checkmate Retail! <laughs> Good morning, Pia! How you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. You stack for green so that you go towards the table? Yes. You're doing A bomb? No. Uh, the, one of the tanks is gonna do abomination. So you need one blood decay for sure as a tank. As a tank, they're really, really good, yeah. As a DPS, no. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, that's me. Should I do A bomb too? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah! Alright, okay, we get to play A bomb. There's the transmog, by the way, in case you were wondering, why is this man not transmogged? Boom. Flashing lights. All of them lights. There we go, even better. That is just one schmexy transmog. And also, the best sword in the game. Uh oh. I'll taunt boss, don't worry. We don't have the right glyphs, but I, I really don't think it'll matter. We have the right spec. Uh, so good. Never seen any A-bomb ever? Yeah. All right. Ugh, this has all been worth it. We can finally top DPS. How many achievements do you have? A lot. Oh, fuck! Oh, sorry. Um, Abby, keep up the good work. I have been enjoying the content since 3k subs. Here's to 10k. Oh yeah, did you end up finishing the retail rate? I didn't actually. I felt really bad yesterday. I'm sorry for that. But thanks for the dono, dude. I really do appreciate that. I'm gonna buy like a nice projector light for the background with the monies, so you're definitely working towards that. Thanks man, I appreciate it. That sword is the slayer of the lifeless. Oh yeah. This is a double ooze, that's not actually what you want, but we can kind of work around it as long as you just know where the ooze is, right? Like you see how we're like drinking left and right? Okay, let's slow that red. And let's slow that green as well. And I'm actually gonna go on the green here. I could go on the red. But um, this is fine. Red is dying very, very fast. The green is dying very slowly. If I were to not DPS the green, that might have actually been an issue, right? Is Oldbine a normal better than Glowens or normal for Red Pala? It's all about strength versus agility. That's always what it boils down to in these questions. And just leave it up to you, man. There's a video talking about it. Alright, there's the third slow. And we've been acing these slows, man. Absolutely acing it. That's really good. If the double puddle wasn't so stacked, it might have actually been not that aced right there. If that's even a word. You're not doing top DPS? Yeah. Righteous Fury went out? Thanks, Stein. Appreciate it, man. You know, I, I actually knew, like, a Stein from my uh, childhood. He was one of my first friends in high school. He's a very nice guy. He used to create these uh, landscapes for Lord of the Rings things. It sounds weird, but he would have, like... He had, uh, what's it called? You know, like that giant field outside of Gondor. He had that all made up. 
he like painted some cardboard and he stuck like uh, trees on top of it and shit. That was awesome, dude. Looked really good. I was just thinking about... Um, tomorrow we have the Ulduar achievement run. So we're gonna have to like do a lot of streaming tomorrow if we also want to get stream if we also want to get like the pre patch in. Oh, we'll see. All right, I got energy. Now let's push PP here. And I won't stay top DPS. The Affliction Warlock is gonna take uh, is gonna take top DPS once I get out of the A bomb for sure. But that's fine. Let's mess up the screen here. As much as we can. Get ready to be evacuated. Out of the A-bomb. So, if you're gonna get exploded, make sure you get to the table. Right away. Alright, red is dead. I'm glad with my judgement call to go on the green. That was a good call. Alright, Righteous Fury. Let's get that. Let's go for Divine Protection, apparently. I was gonna go for Avenging Wrath, but... Misclicked a little bit there. Alright. Wait for my partner to have three stacks. Then I'll take it. I'm gonna take the boss right now. And just pop a D-Sack. It really doesn't matter. The boss is dead at this point. Just keep it taunted so the Affliction Warlock doesn't get sniped. And there we go. Bruh, I'm tank, so I can taunt now. Flex. <laughs> can I stay tank, please? <laughs> uh, no, let's get a... Uh, gonna go back down to the red if I get crit, I'm sending you the repair bill, Asgera. The reset is done? Mm. No, the reset is like tomorrow. If that's what you're talking about. Like uh, this night, basically. In, in four hours is the reset. No? Wait, what? It's like in six hours, I think. It's hard, dude. I don't know math. I can barely do additions. But um, what's the main status for a Paladin Retri? Or the stats? Haste, crit or strength? You want to get strength, as much strength as you can. You've got strength modifier right here, 15% additional strength. So every single gem that you have with strength, um, you get 15% here. You get 10% from Greater Blessing of Kings. So every gem gets 20 strength plus 25, right? That's how we gotta think about it. I don't think there's any more strength scaling besides that 15%, but still, that's really good. 15%'s a lot. If you want a Brazilian guild, private message me. If only I knew Spanish. I might have said yes. Alright, swap over to DPS. Yep, that's all fine. Remove Righteous Fury. This Affliction man, he is really good. Yep, this Affliction Warlock is a very good player. Brazilian stock Portuguese. Oops. There we go. <laughs> We're not gonna give him Hand of Protection. 25 strength per gem? Yes. That's why strength jamming is really good. <laughs> Alright, he's saying he'll survive. I'm gonna stack on you, bitch. How do you get the insane title? You have to raise a few of those uh, reputations. I did it a long time ago in 15. Honored with Blood Sail, exalted with all of the the goblins, right? Exalted with Dark Moon Fair, Ravenhold, and Shendralar. If you check this here. Oh, 
Ah, and I put a few here because they're not exalted. <laughs> Don't tell anybody that. All right. Don't worry about the toxicity against that person. It's all right, man. I've known him for more than 10 years at this point. So, uh, yeah, don't worry. We're all good. I wouldn't actually hurt him. It's my pendejo to hurt, but I wouldn't do it. All right. Let's get ready for the end of protection. Let's actually just use it right now. So we don't have to stress it. Okay. There's the Empowered Shock Vortex. Get back onto the boss with Nitros. And there we go. Ah, that Consecration was really bad. He's just gonna straight up walk out of it. Let's get Shadow Resistance Aura here. Let's get ready to spread one more time. It might happen a second time, this Empowered Shock Vortex, but it didn't. We got really lucky. Any good Red Repeller macros? You can find all my macros in my Discord. Link to my Discord is in the description down below. And uh, yeah, you can check it out right there. I've got all my macros there. They're my macros, I'm not saying that they're the best macros, but they're, they're what I use, right? Mm, almost everything exalted. <laughs> but yeah, I farmed the living hell out of this. If I did this on retail, I would have actually had like a serious character, right? It's kind of a shame that I spent so much time on a private server, now that I think about it, but... It's okay. Arby will be forever alive in my memory. Whatever happens, she'll be with me. Literally gonna put her on a USB stick and put her in my grave. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting my account, bitches. Oh no, Mama Nina, get out of here. Bomb time. Oh. All right, it's time for the Shadow Resistance Aura Mastery. We can't move too much at this point. We will die. Very unfortunate at the end there, but it was still pretty clean. Mostly. That's decent loot. Uh, let's go ahead and give the G-bombs. Hey Adrian, what's up? How am I doing tonight? I'm alright, man. How is it? Uh, how's it for you? Hope you're having a wonderful day. That's insane. Always wanted to get that. You can't sadly like oh 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 jump it up 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 that's too soon. <laughs> oh wait that's still too soon. Fuck 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 stun. There we go. Let's go on tactician. Oh jeez can I please not die? It's so scary man it really is. I'm not even targeting you fuck off lieutenant. Literally not targeting you. Okay, and I'm dead. <sighs> I don't think misdirections and tricks of the trades are being used efficiently on these ads, but... Let's go ahead and at least we'll walk back. Have a clean run. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, what's up? Double dots. Times many? How are you doing? Hey, love. Hello, bro. I sold my characters. I really miss my heroes. Yeah. You should never sell your characters. Unless you specifically level it up. You specifically put BOEs and engineering, jewel crafting, whatnot on the character. Never sell your characters. You're gonna regret it at some point. Even if you say, I'm gonna completely stop playing Warmain, you know what? Your friends won't. If you're in a Discord with some people that you really like to play with, they're gonna have fun on Lich King and you're gonna sit on the sidelines thinking, shouldn't have sold that character. So that's, that's my advice. Never ever sell your characters unless you make them for the for the trade and i've done that many times i have made many characters specifically to put on the war main trade me and tim actually have leveled together a stupid amount of times just to sell a character right and let me see if i can uh, get it in here 
plating, that's all just gold. Marketplace. Oh yeah, you gotta go to trade first. Lecture realm and everything. And then look for sold characters. Characters I've traded. Alright, so... Yeah, there's no, like, IP on here. I sold a few Mist of Pandaria characters here, because I literally am just not gonna play Mist of Pandaria. But the, this is like six characters, right? Six characters right here, that's an entire Shadowmourne. And on my main account, because that's just one of my two accounts, get ready. I don't think my main account has that many, actually. Maybe a million was a bit of an over -estimization. But you can definitely make coins like that. Let's sell characters I've traded. Ah, that's a decent list. That's like some uh, some seven characters. So I probably got like about 300 coins just from leveling up and selling characters. Thunder Fury sold in a day. That name alone, it was enough to just uh, get it sold. Eve, five coins, yeah. Yeah, war main fee. Fucking taxes. What would you say is the lowest gear score to play ICC 10? 5.2 is very low for ICC, but you should be able to find some alt run. Yo, Abby, any good tips to level a character from 70 to 80? When we finish the overlaving character, my survival hunter, when we get that to level 70, me and Tim are gonna record our route from 70 to 80, and um, you'll have my route. I miss the beard? No, I don't. Is there, is there a chance to sell a character without the achievement, Fresh 80? Yeah, all those characters that I just showed you, they were all just naked. They didn't have any BOEs on them. They were just... Um, they were just characters with... For both of the professions, dual crafting and engineering, they were characters with minimum stuff. Maybe I put a BOE or, or something, you know, like on a few, but they weren't geared. They were just naked, fresh 80s with professions. That's how you sell them. Lockdown again tomorrow at 10 p.m. Holland is the, uh, the Corona Centrum of the entirety of Europe, so we got more Coronas in Holland than anywhere else. Which feels... I mean, we're winning, but we're actually losing. Alright. Let's stay on the side here. The person right in the middle there, he is trying to get himself killed. You should always stay on one of the sides, so you don't get splashed by all that splash damage. But then again, that flame is very unfortunate. It doesn't allow them to be on that side all too much. Nah, no, it's actually fine. Fine. Oh! Oh! Don't show me! God for door, jonge! That's so Dutch. <laughs> he just gave me a bite. The stupid Belgian bitch gave me a bite. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. But I do appreciate that. Thanks, Toshami. For once, you did something right. You Belg. I have 10 cases every day, still no lockdown. I think we have like 800 something cases like yesterday. It's going pretty quickly, man. But yeah, we got bit. How about that? We're gonna get the fear, so we're not gonna pop our wings right here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bite Mama Nina if I can find him in time. Uh, Delta, sure, why not? That man needs some love too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't reach, bitch. Get down here. <laughs> Alright, let's pop the wings right here. 
we can't pop second potion because I uh, got really excited when I got wet. Uh, I wanted to go hard, you know. But yeah, Bite on Rattery is pretty good. Like, you got a lot of holy damage. You got a lot of tiny A bombs in a jar coming in, and it, it really does make it very strong. So, Bite on Rat is pretty good. It used to be so much better, though. Like, on Molten. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. On Molten, you, if you didn't get 60k damage as a Retribution Paladin with the Bite, you'd straight up just get cheek kicked out of uh, Dignity. Those were the rules. You didn't actually get kicked out, but. <laughs> we have. Oh shit, oh fuck, 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 fuck. There you go. Panic! Oh, you can make like one of those panic memes. Hold on. There has to be one of those memes in my, my Discord. I'll show you exactly the meme that I just thought of. Let's go into memes right here. You know those memes where it's like, PANIC! There's a lot of memes in here, though. Oh, I gotta find one fast or the funny is gonna go away and it will never be fun again. He's gonna lead me into a, into a Valk, isn't he? Okay. A spicy man. Yeah, okay, the funny is gone. I should not have bitten him. Duff, fuck. How did he do that? Let's go quick. Just fuck it. Just leave him die. <laughs> leave him to die. Nobody cares about him. There we go. Perfect. All right, we can summon him. <laughs> Any good? Alright, yeah, we'll uh, get that. Can you buy pets or mage illusions? Not anymore. I've actually soloed BQL on Molten all the way back in the days, right? Uh, my trick as a Protection Paladin... Protection Paladin, full best in slot on 10 normal. With the bite, you don't die, right? You just simply didn't die. So what I did when I was last alive, I put up the Seal of Light, I went full defensive mode, I simply did not die, and when I had to bite someone, I whipped out a pet, bit the pet, killed it, because the bite deals a little bit of damage and they don't have so much health. Resummon the pet, and you're ready for round two. So, you used to be able to do that, but not anymore. But when you used to be able to do it... Oh man, Molten was so much fun. Go ahead and repair that. Nope, still a bit more. Nope, still a bit more. There we go. Rest in peace, pet. Yep, I got one case in my school, so I'm not going anymore. I'll let the rest get Corona. So I'm cool sitting at home eating Doritos. Oh, Doritos are really good. I had some today. <gasps> Look, here's the packet. There's the... I love this nacho cheese, like... Oh, fucking cocaine. Really good. I forgot about Corona, stopped reading the newspaper, maybe that's why. Yeah, honestly, the media is, like, always talking about it here in Holland. Because we've got so many cases now, right? But, like, a month ago, you didn't see anything about it on the news. So, people just simply forgot. They started to get back together. And that's when, uh, that's when it all went south, man. It all went downhill. Alright, we're salvaging the Warlock. And that's all I have to do. Innervate Order, Holy Wrath. I'm second on Holy Wrath. Alright. <laughs> Whoa, guys, that's not good. Viruses aren't actually good, you know. Like, the thing is, youthful people, just like you and me, we won't die to it. But some weaker people, some elderly people, they might actually get, like, a really bad case of it. And they might actually like pass away so if you can avoid getting it that's what you should be doing yeah that rutte i should do a stream 
like Rutte sometime. Just, just stand there. All right. <laughs> I can't even do his voice because it's so Dutch. But yeah, it's all good, man. We just gotta get through one more wave. And uh, that's it. That's it. There won't be a third wave, right? Right? Fog. I do you smoke weed? Not anymore. I used to smoke weed, but not anymore. How much DPS can you do on the light of dawn with Retribution Paladin? Well, wait and see. It's not gonna be top DPS. But we can get in the top 5. For sure. For sure. If we don't get picked up by any Valkyrs, if we get some decent RNG, we'll be fine. Yeah. I've seen so many of my guildies in your server. That's a lot of people on the server, but... Not enough. We need to be bigger. We need to grow. We need to eat more Doritos. No, I mean like the channel, not the belly. But eating Doritos is good for channel too, somehow, probably. Probably not. But yeah, it's good, man. In Macedonia, there's like 2 million top, so if everyone got infected, we still won't be in the top 10 list on most cases. Yeah, that's also the thing, right? There's a lot of places that simply have more people. So a top 5 list. Take it with a bunch of salt. Because there's always the asterisk to it. To every single top 5 list. Alright. You guys ready? Will you do speedrun stream anytime? We kind of sped... Well, speedrun in the sense of trying to break world records, no. But we did speedrun the shit out of Spongebob, man. We completed that game in like 4 hours. That was crazy. That was a fast clear of that video game. We kind of sped... Uh, we, we almost did like a speedrun of Doom as well. But then I got into a specific map in episode 4. With a cyber demon in it. And that map is horrible. I never knew it was that hard until I played it on Fast Monsters Ultra Violent. I didn't know it was that hard. Second Holy Wrath. 20 seconds. We got the flask. Alright, we're ready. Roll up the sleeves one more time. Hey, what's up, YG Ice? Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. It's a bit early on the potion, but that's alright. It's a bit too late on the Holy Wrath, not gonna lie, but... Should be okay. Not sure where the trap is. Yeah, I didn't think it was on the melee, but... It was close enough to the melee where we needed to move. That's fine. Let's go ahead and taunt that cliff. Or, uh, taunt that ghoul, rather. Really trying to taunt that ghoul, maybe a bit too much at this point. Felt like that cost me DPS instead of giving me DPS. Okay. Wait, what? What's what put the Shadow Trap in the back? Alright, one person definitely flew away right there. It's very unfortunate, but let's keep this up. 
Alright, Rog is dispelled. That's good. We're not about to push it out here. Alright, just push, 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 push. Let's go for a quick seal of command, finish up these ghouls real quick. And the warrior has made a huge lead on the ghouls. Like, he's solo warrior, basically. The other warrior is there, but he's not doing all that much. So, uh, he, he gets a lot of damage on those ghouls. I could swap to command, but it's just not worth it. He wants single target damage as well. And seal of command does not provide all that much of that. Alright, we're down one shadow priest, so I'm gonna keep an eye out on the spear, on the spheres here. Because what we can definitely do is we can taunt them if we're in range, and we can deal like a good bit of damage to them. Just like that, there's a 7k damage. Nice little taunt real quick. Should have probably just stayed on the raging, but... Let's just go ahead and give the salvation right now. My shadow AM is coming up. There we go. Alright, let's go hard on LK. I'm second Holy Wrath, so I can't fill my rotation with the Holy Wrath right there. Alright, we didn't get grabbed. That's very, very fortunate. Come on, get him down. Let's get in there. Don't have Night Holes for Defile now, so Defile is a little bit scarier. Let's go. I'm gonna stay stacked there. Swap it over to Seal of Command. There's the second Holy Wrath. This is a bit shitty stack. We'll have to go on this one. We need to burst this down quick. Otherwise we lose him like straight up. Ah, uh, there's no more stun left. There's no more stun left. Oof, we just barely got him. Swap the seal. And uh, we can definitely use like a divine plea right here. The if I get defile, I'm gonna bring it on top of the other defile. But without night holes, that's gonna be tricky. Alright, some tall tanky, watch that. That's perfection. Like that's that's good enough. That's really good. Alright, I'm gonna use the holy wrath right here. Taunt the other one real quick. And I'm really getting out of mana here. I'm gonna have one more wave as well. Okay, Defile's not on me. That's good, stack up quick. Don't get grabbed, I feel like I'm gonna get grabbed. Alright, didn't get grabbed. Some decent RNG. And we're really, really running on fumes in terms of mana. Alright, they want the Shadow AM. There's one more Holy Wrath. Come on, baby. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh god, did I just... Alright, I just uh, absolutely taunted LK instead of a Valkyr. So I had to pop some Divine Shield. Let's drop it. We're fine. If I didn't pop Divine Shield, I would have probably been dead there. Oof. Typical RB mistake. Stomping Lich King. <laughs> you know, other people might like... They like miss a... They like miss a global cooldown. Nope, I just straight up taunt LK. Can't go for the Avenging Wrath just yet. Yeah, let's go. Let's pop the Potion of Haste there. And let's keep going hard. That's a hella cutie. I like that raging spirit. That's very, very cute. 
Got five stacks on that. One judgment here, and let's focus up on this now. Kill that sphere with a taunt. Let's keep this up. Wait, that's, a, that's also a very cute raging spirit. Oh my, I feel so blessed. And let's get as many stack. Wait, what? Are all the raging spirits obbies now? What's going on? There's so many obbies. The tank is unholy? No, the tank is blood. Alright, let's rebuff the druid. Rebuff the pet. Get the divine plea up. And, oh shit. Follow star. Alright, I'm just gonna have to regroup with them over here. It's not what you want to do. You don't want to cut off their path. If I got targeted by a bomb, this would have been a shitty situation. But it's the best thing I could do. It's gonna AMS. I'm gonna AMS 3 this. Alright, I shouldn't have done that. I, fi I figured it was a bit closer to the ground than it actually was. I can help with taunts, but as soon as my trinket is like on cooldown, I don't want to actually pop my trinket on spirits right here, right? So let's keep up that trinket so we can use it on the outside phase. Almost get coned like a pro. And let's kill the obby spirit. Okay, get coned like a boss, just like that. Dispel please. Alright, it's fine. I shouldn't have gotten coned by that, that's my fault. There's a defiling coming. If they can typhoon the spirits, that would be really good. It would slow them down. Now let's keep this up. We're gonna use a potion on the next wave. We're about to get pulled into Frostmoon Chamber here, so no no reason to use the potion. Alright. Doing pretty well. Let's see if we can keep that top three. There's the taunt, there's the instant exorcism. It's good damage, but like I already said, save your trinket. Don't waste your trinket basically. But if a spirit gets loose, you can definitely fuck him up. I've even uh, hit spirits with Divine Storm before they reached us. Just Divine Storm them, and you can uh, really save out your uh, you can really save your crew here. But yeah, don't pop the trinket. I wonder if repentance works. I don't, I don't know. I feel like repentance doesn't work. Let's watch that defile. There we go. And let's wait for a few more stacks. And there we go. And like this. Alright. Let's swap it up. As soon as there's a hole in the rotation. Ah, I gotta swap it. Alright, fuck it. They're getting, they're getting very persuasive on Discord. Uh, the, the thing he just reset, we'll get a full Skada from someone, don't worry about it. I'm still on top 3, but you just don't see it right now. I'm pulling a little sneaky on you. Okay, can we push it? Mm, I don't think it's pushed. Every Frostmourne resets DPS. Not every time, but in this case it did, and it's very unfortunate. I'm not sure why it happens. I think it's something with like us dropping out of combat. You see that judgment right there? Paladin is magnifique. I fucking love Paladins. <laughs> they got so much range in their spells, like it's actually insane. Just move out of that bomb right there. Alright, we're fine. Everyone is fine on mana. 1% left on the uh, on this bitch ass LK. Okay. Let's smack it. Oh yeah. Proc the trinket. Just to show you that it can proc. Nope, never mind, it didn't proc. 
And finito. Keep a, keep a good eye out on LK's cast bar. Like, just go ahead and taunt him when he's casting for free damage. There we go. I'm gonna see if I can get... Hey man, thanks for the cheers. I appreciate that, Lost Rix. I'll see if I can uh, get you guys a useful thingy. Because my Skada has got up in two, so... Let's see if we can show you a full one. What the F is the Warlock? It's a really good Warlock, for sure. It's Affliction. Affliction has a chance to do a ton of damage. Flawless Raid. I died 18 times, what are you talking about? Flawless Raid. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, my OCD is going crazy. Is that is that like 1? Can we please have like a 5, please? I'm gonna look at my DKP and see like an uneven number, and I'm gonna go crazy every single time. What? We got 161 DKP instead of 165, and that, that just triggers me like crazy. You got 4 DKP on Cindy. That's <gasps> oh! Why. Thank god. Alright, thanks. My OCD just went insane. Like, oof. You know, some people have it when they have like 151 DKP, and I'm like, no, you can't even use that one DKP. <laughs> you can't use it! <laughs> it drives me insane, but luckily it's all good. It's all good. I was just getting uh, getting worried over nothing. Like usual. Officers got it all under control. No wipes, I meant? Yeah, there weren't any wipes, but it wasn't like a flawless one. We've had better runs, but it is the sixth run. It's really good run for sixth run. Let's see. Yeah. This is good. If I had a one right here, I would have lost my shit. Alright, this is damage on useful targets. But that's not correct. That's not full. So hold on, I'm still working on it. There it is. So this is the full Skada. Gold Tanky coming in with damn near 10 million. Affliction Warlock right behind him. And Frick, the Rogue. Actually, almost in my ass here. Yeah. But we're third with 8.2 mil. Not sure what the DPS was, but I'm assuming it's uh, it's around 15-14k. Damage dealt is more important anyway. Like the DPS is just a measuring stick, right? Damage dealt is what matters. Ooh, romantic. The Lich King's death? Hell yeah. I'm gonna lose my virginity watching this cutscene some point maybe probably not i cry 40k total dkp you should see this man <laughs> double metrials you should see uh, tall sneaky he's got double than me and then some i right, he's got almost 90k Conqueror Heroic, Double Mitrios, and Invincible Reigns, which is a 100% drop chance. The rogue in your ass was romantic. Oh. <laughs> so romantic. I'm gonna get to explore Searing Gorge. Um, basically, if you want to go to Searing Gorge, Lost Rex, there's a few ways to get there. Um, the most common way is going through Black Rock Mountain. So you have Black Rock Mountain here, you enter it, you exit the other side, and then you'll exit like right over here at the Sea of Cinders. Or, yeah, at the Sea of Cinders, you'll exit right here. Another way to enter is doing a quest and then entering from Loch Modan. But um, I'm not sure where, where the quest starts. I usually just enter through Black Rock Mountain. Another way is going through the Badlands. Let's see if it shows on the map. You see this Dust Belch Grotto? You see how there's like a little bit of an overlap here? This is the third way. So there's three ways to get in there. And uh, that'll be it. 
Why are silver bars so expensive? No idea. No idea. Let's get a BQL neck, huh? Uh, Nick, are you still in the chat? Mr. PvP Priest, are you still there? I have a question regarding arenas. But yeah, we're basically done with the group. Let's hop out. Blood Elf Paladin DPS need 8% hit rating. Yes, every kind of Paladin DPS will need 8% hit rating. Um, Blood Elves, they have the same best in slot build as Draenei. I've always hated the fact that I'm basically 1.6 hit rating over cap, right? And I've tried looking at some other items, like maybe swapping this out. But it didn't seem to be that beneficial in the greater, like, in the in the, in the the big picture. Tiny Able in a jar just gives way too much hit rating. Okay, Ursh is in my whispers. Ursh, Alana! When is Arena reset? For rating. Because I still need to get high five. And I don't want to have the, the Atheant. No! I don't want to lose my rating again. Ha! <laughs> nice. You don't use the 245, Lebron? I don't. How do you get Celestial Steed? You don't. Celestial Steed is the very first item that Blizzard has ever released, or the very first mount, at least, that Blizzard has ever released on their um, mount store. You know, on the store that, for some reason, I can't seem to access or find... But there is a Warcraft store, and Celestial Steed was the first mount there. BQL neck hype. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. BQL neck, let's go! I got 32 gold. <laughs> That's okay. It's better than nothing. Minimal crit for Retries. Uh, as much as you can get. I wouldn't worry about jamming or gearing specifically for crit. You'll get crit as you go along. In a raid, I'll have like 60% crit-ish. You can get that on solo queue. Yeah, I need 150 more rating. That's the issue. If they're gonna reset the servers or the arena bracket soon, I need to hurry up with this achievement. Because we're closer now than we've ever been. Is an item guaranteed from that satchel? No, it's like very luck based. You can open 10 of those and not get a single item. But luckily, I've been getting some good luck recently with those items. This is for the eventual assassination rogue. Nah, we're gonna zero to hero. We don't need the, we don't need BOEs. I got nothing for the hunter anyway. Alright guys, I think that's it for the raid though. And uh, yeah, anything specific I should think about if I'm gonna raid for the first time as an Elemental Shaman. Yeah, so Elemental Shamans, right? Elemental Shamans have totems. And you think the totem is a long range, but it really isn't. The totem has a 30 yard rate, uh, range. So let's say this person right over here. He's faster god. This is where the room starts. You drop your totem right here, and you think to yourself, I'm providing utility. No. You need to put your totems right over here. Smack dab behind faster god and rot face, so that the area that your totems cover is this. Like, let's say the, the entire faster god room is this, right? It's a big old circle, but you only use like half of the room. So put your totems in the middle so that they can cover most of the range DPS. A lot of shamans don't put their totems on the right spot. A lot of shamans don't do that correctly, so keep that in mind. <laughs> and uh, just keep trying, man. Don't pop the heroism unless your raid leader wants you to pop it. The timers are pretty simple. You learn them after a few times, but... It's all good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for the big old donation as well. I do appreciate that, Mr. Stefan. Thank you once again. And uh, I'm gonna get out of here.
yeah, tomorrow we're gonna have the Ulduar achievement run in the afternoon and probably some pre-patch Shadowland. Why do you always stand in the same spot? A long time ago, I was a noob and I had a senpai and my senpai always stood here. I'm reserving the spot for him. When he comes back to Warmain, I step the fuck aside for him. But until he comes back to Warmain, that's just my spot. I'm keeping it warm for him. And with that being said, guys, have yourself a wonderful night, and I'll see you later. Good night.